Hi everybody, welcome to a, another tortured figure review, my fourth one. Um, as you can see I'm reviewing um, Tosh, well, I can't remember the full name, T um, Tosh Seto, but well, I don't really know, I don't watch torture very often. But I did watch most of Children of Earth, still a bit more to watch. Um, that's beside the point. Anyways, um, uh, Tosh, a newly released figure from the second Tortured Wave. There was two figures from the second Tortured Wave already released in a special edition. There's Anto Jones and Captain John Hart. Um, plan to get John Hart, but can't really find him. TV movie stores all out. So yes, um, newly released um, from the second wave. She comes with a gun, which I'll review, or pistol, which I'll review later. Sorry. And a stand, just the same as every other tortured figure. Right then, to the review, got the gun there as always. Right then, articulation, start with the head. It turns the 460 degree turn, which is quite a difference. Although her head's a bit wobbly, so just be careful with yours. Um, shoulder joint can move for 460 degree turn. 90 degrees at the elbow, a bit more than a nine than 90. And a 360 degree turn swivel at the hand. I don't know if you can see it. I'll just try again. Okay, you definitely saw that one. All right, same with the other arm as well. Um, legs, she can't do the splits, um, no other torture figure does, but um, it's quite a difference uh, because her legs um, go further more up than um, any other figure, about over 90 degrees, which is quite um, different to any other, other figures, and 90 degrees at the knee. No waist articulation, unfortunately, but um, oh well, it's good enough. Okay. And it, oh, sorry, bother. It's just because she's wearing heels as well, which is difficult. And plus, if I her heels are smaller than Gwen Cooper's and Astro Pass, not that it wouldn't matter. But um, it's very hard to stand up. I guess the only way I can stand her up properly is by putting on a stand. Anyway, on to detail. Um, she uh, does look quite uh, a little like Tosh, but um, she does look like an Asian or Japanese. Um, woman or whichever form she is from. Um, yeah, but she does look quite a bit like Tosh. So yeah, that, that was very good on the face. The hair is done very well, just do a 360 degree turn. It's done very well. Really like the hair. So it's done very well. Sort of hard plastic, so you can't really move that as often as you would move others. Um, the jacket is done quite well. It's done a I don't know if you can see it, but it's done by a very uh, average brown at the back. It's done pretty well. And trousers, um, particularly where my nail is here, finger, whatever. Quite a few creases. And um, boots, uh, just like any other boots, um, with trousers over them, really. But there's a disappointing thing about this size of the heel. So that makes it difficult. Makes it difficult to stand up. Over here, don't know if you can see. I'll just move right here. You can see she's got a pocket sticking out, which is a nice feature. And that's just about it, really, for Tosh. So overall, I give her a um, eight and a half out of ten. Um, she has got good articulation, uh, but they could have done a bit more, as I say with all the others. And the other disappointing thing is her heel. Um, it, it, they have to make it a bit bigger because it's very difficult to stand up. They have to bend the knees to a certain um, length. I used to do that with my Hobbit figures with Lord of the Rings because they were awkward. Right, on to the pistol. Well, I don't know if you could see it. Well, you can't really at the moment because focus is a bit bad. Right. It's basically the same as Anto yeah, James's gun. It's just the same, so... If you get Tosh and Ninto, you could just use her, the same gun. Either way, they'll still fit into each other's hands. So yes, it's a very ni nicely detailed accessory. Very nice, and I quite like it. As I said in my last review, is this if they just... Well, well, I'm not going to say it because you, that's another reason why you need to watch my review. Other reviews. And it's very easy to pop in. You could just pop it in her hand there. Put her finger through the trigger hole. 
and pasta. Right then, yes, yeah, so with the gown I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Nothing much to talk about it other than great detail. And um, for the stand, there's not much to reveal about it. It's just a piece of plastic with bits of the top and Torchwood logo painted in crimson. And you could just put down. And um, just lower the camera. Um, right. I don't know if you could just see it, but um, just do the focus for it better. Right. Holes at the bottom of her shoes, or boots, whichever. And you can just simply slot them in. And there you are. Um, Tosh on her stand. Tosh would stand. She's a bit higher than normal. Just get the camera to the right position. Okay, so um, that's my review for uh, Tosh. Overall, I give her a um, 9 out of 10 because uh, the whole thing. Um, she is a good figure. It just needs a bit of more of articulation um, and well you know say more about the heel they just need to make it a bit bigger so she can stand a bit more easily and um, the gun is a very nice accessory just the same as the Anto Jones's save them making more production and yes it was a very good figure and certainly worth the wait um, waiting for because um, as soon as I saw it on the back of the torture cover I was just thinking oh he'll be ages before them but before they're out it was a bit of a while but Yes, it was worth the wait because I'm more interested in collecting the Torchwood members. Um, I'm thinking about getting the figures. Um, I'll see if I can, but maybe oh, months because I'm, normally something new comes up. So yes, uh, thanks for watching this review. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, next review um, will be a girl's phantom wave figure. Bet you can guess which one. Okay, yes, thanks for watching and bye.